My fellow American, I assume there's at least one of you watching this, I have heard from uh, the public that we need change. Everyone wants change. So in 2012, I intend to offer you change. And one of the problems is that everyone seems to be blaming the Republicans for the economy. They say the, uh, the Bush administration made the economy really bad. And now they're blaming Obama because the Democrats have been unable to repair anything. I promise to do absolutely nothing about either of them. And therefore, we should eliminate a good many of the problems. Uh, I would like to offer everyone more jobs. All the candidates are promising more jobs for Americans. I can honestly tell you now that I have no idea how to create more jobs for Americans because we simply don't do anything in this country anymore. We don't make anything. We don't produce anything. The few companies that say that they are doing information services can easily be done in India, Pakistan, Malaysia, or any place else. I've heard a lot of complaints about tax and spend liberals. I promise you that I will do neither. I will neither tax nor will I spend. We will provide no benefits, we will collect no taxes, and everyone should be happy with that. Now let's discuss health care. This is a, a big, big issue in the United States, but it doesn't need to be. The government has no right telling us that we have to be healthy. If you want to be sick, you have that right. You are not, should not be required to have in health insurance or anything else. If you want to be sick, you want to just lie out in the street and die, that is your privilege. That is the American way. And let's do away with all this nonsense with doctors. Uh, every time I go to a doctor, if I have a, 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 a splinter in my finger, they say, oh, we have to do one of those MRIs. Do you know what the MRI stands for? In doctor language, MRI means more real income. Let me ask you something. Have you ever had an MRI? Do you notice that one of the first things they do when they put you into that great big machine that makes all the noise? They put headphones on you. You know why? So that you can't hear the doctors and their assistants laughing at you. I'm telling you right now, we have to do away with that. And now, let's get on to the abortion issue. That's a big one. Everyone's talking about abortion. I will tell you right now, I have never, never had an abortion, nor will I ever. And as far as women, they're going to do what they want to do anyway, so what do we make a big deal about it for? Roe versus Wade? I think Dempsey versus Tunney was much, much better and didn't cause near as many problems. Now let's talk about some serious matters again. Everyone says that the government is wasting money and spending too much money. I have a plan. I have a plan on stopping this wasteful spending. The first thing I intend to do is do away with both houses of Congress, both the Congress and the Senate. Can you think of how many millions and possibly billions of dollars will be saved on travel expenses, on lobbyists, and everything else? These two houses never agree with each other anyway, so why bother having them? Leave everything up to me. When I make my State of the Union addresses, I will have an applause machine that will applaud at the right time, and we will be able to run this country on a much more efficient basis. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Now let us discuss the Middle East. That's something on everyone's mind. For years, everyone has been trying to figure out why we, the Jews and the Arabs cannot get along over in the Middle East. Well, my mother gave me some wonderful advice back when I was four years old and I was having a fight with my next door neighbor, Malcolm. She came over and in her inimitable wisdom said to me, don't fight, play nice. Why can't we do that in Israel and in the Arab countries? Don't fight. Play nice. There's plenty of land for everybody. There's plenty of water. There's plenty of everything. Everyone should be able to get along there. Why can't they just play nice and not fight? I intend to indoctrinate them with that philosophy from my dear mother. Iran, that's another problem. I plan to offer Iran all the enriched uranium that they want. That seems to be their main goal. And we're going to exchange that for several boatloads of Iranian pistachio nuts. If you've never had Iranian pistachio nuts, you know just how exactly 
valuable they can be. Jewish people love pistachio nuts. I am pretty sure that with this type of an exchange, we can bring about peace in the Middle East forever and ever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Let us address another issue now. God in schools. They say that God has been removed from our schools. Well, did you ever think that perhaps he doesn't want to be there? I didn't. I didn't like it at all. When I was in school, God was there too. Every morning, we clasped our hands in front of us and we said a prayer to God, and I still got C's and D's. I think God is much, much too busy creating new universes, and our astronomers will show you and explain how that is being done, and, and asking uh, football teams are asking for his help every Sunday. I'm sure he's busy on Sundays taking care of that. Let's stop asking him for special favors and gifts. Leave the poor guy alone. Let him enjoy his life. Thank God. Thank you, Thank you all so much. Immigration. No problem. The way things are going in this country now, why would anyone want to move here? Don't ask, don't tell. That's another big issue that's been bothering everybody. Should we have it in the military or should we not? Let's keep it in the military, but let's go even further. Let's extend it to the civilian life as well. Good example. A woman says to her husband, Honey, does this dress like make me look fat? Don't ask, don't tell. Of course, to run for president, I have to have a party. Well, I love parties anyway, but which one will it be? So let me say this first of all, do I want to belong to the tea party? Do you want to belong to a party where the men drink from a little cup like this? I think not. That's not the party for me. Real guys use one of these suckers here. This is a mug and I'm going to have the coffee party or something like it. I don't want to mess with those tea party people. And by the way, right at the end of this clip, you will see an email address where you can check to find the origin of the original Tea Party from 1985 in San Antonio, Texas. The T stood for transgender, and it was a meeting of transgender cross dresses in San Antonio in 1985. You can look it up and see for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Randy Sochin would never lie anyway, but go ahead and check it out for yourself. And besides, uh, I, I wanted to go see it, but my wife refuses to let me use her clothes, so. Hey, the Second Amendment, that's a biggie, right? Everyone wants the right to bear arms. Well, I have two arms. I think it's great. All men should bear arms. And I'll tell you what else. I think women should bear legs. Guys, I need your support on this, please. Now, as far as bearing arms, when our forefathers put that thing together, one of the things they said was, okay, uh, everyone should bear arms and we should have a well-regulated militia. If there was such a thing, I'd be glad to join. I don't know that there is. But anyway, these are the kind of guns that they had back then when the, uh, our forefathers put, the, put this thing together. And the reason that people needed these guns, let's say somebody cut off your horse and buggy and you got really angry. Well, here's what you would do. You would take this and you would pour some black powder into it and then you'd put a little pistol ball, I think about a 40 caliber, and you would tamp it all down. And remember, this is all taking just a few seconds to do if you're really good at it. Make sure you have a new flint, and then you take it and you cock the pistol back, and you shoot that sucker so he will never cut off your horse and buggy again. That was the Second Amendment, and that's what it's for. Guys, support me on this. We've got to keep this Second Amendment, and we also have to allow women the right to bare legs. Of course, I have to select a vice president. All presidents do. And uh, I've been watching the media lately. And I have made my choice for vice president, assuming she will accept my nomination. I expect to invite Lindsay Lohan to join my party and become my vice president. Number one, the vice president's main duty is to get good publicity for the president. Who could do a better job of getting publicity than Lindsay? Now, another party tried to get an attractive woman as their vice president, but she didn't have near the smarts that this one does. So, folks, I will need your support. We do want Lindsay Lohan as vice president under Ernie Sochin. The next election is only two years away, believe it or not, 
And folks, I need your help, and I want you to pass the word around about Ernie Sochin. Naturally, I can use all the money you can send, so I would like you to send money directly to me mar and envelopes and mark on the envelopes cash and clothes so the post office will handle it properly. Folks, I need your help. Thank you. God bless and good night.